uh, to Margaret and the Dobson family. We are deeply sorry for the loss of Paul. A wonderful father and husband. And a very special person to all of us. As a group of referees, we cannot think of anyone who's contributed more goodness and positivity out of the kindness of his heart to our sport of refereeing over the past 60 years. That's more than half a century of service. Paul Dobson acted as a sound voice of reason in a job that so often creates controversy, produces much emotion and debate. As coaches, referees, administrators and us commentators. His arrival, rugby knowledge and recollection of our history as a sport. Both current and past, coupled with his amazing sense of positivity and happiness. Mean that we've lost um, one who's likely we will not see again. But in that lies the quite incredible legacy Paul has left. The thousands of articles. The fair and reasonable debates that Paul provided such simple clarity on. And most importantly, to all of us, the many lives he touched. He touched my life as someone who cared deeply about our referee performances on the field, as well as us as people and friends. Paul Dobson, his hard-working hands at rest. They told me not to just work hard, but to work smarter. A wise man that told me to not only focus on the areas that you're good at, but also at the ones that you are weak. In my life, met a bigger gentleman. He just could not say a bad thing about anybody. Uh, Uncle Paul, a baie groot boom, is in his skatesrechters vout gekap. We will miss you. Rest in peace, Esquire. He touched my life um, as much as a human being he was. He was just an extraordinarily good man. Uh, and my hero, and in many ways, only having known him in the latter part of his life for the past 20 years, he was my role model. He was a man that I would really want to be. Uh, we're going to miss you, Paul. Paul touched me as a person with vast knowledge. He always acted with humility. I will miss Paul as a mentor, as a source of knowledge, and as a dear friend. He touched my life as someone who was always willing to engage and inquire about the latest rugby laws clarifications. He treated me with respect and dignity. Whenever he greets me, he will always say, Molom Hlegas, Unjani, meaning, good morning, sir, how you doing? Paul touched my life as someone who was genuine, who was caring, and who was kind. And he was my very dear friend. When Paul touched my life in uh, many different ways, uh, rugby-wise and, and, and personal life, but most significantly, just, just the person he was. Um, didn't, couldn't ever say a bad thing about anybody, uh, couldn't ever offend, but he could still drill down to the deep fact and truth, um, just through simple, old-fashioned good values, like honesty, respect and love. And Paul, you're going to sorely be missed on Monday mornings when I need someone to phone and, and, and soundboard. Love you. He touched my life as someone who'd always send me an email each time I'd referee Western Province. And obviously, um, his son Dobbo being the coach of Western Province, uh, very, very animated, very passionate. Um, you know, he'd always have something to say. And, you know, on the Monday or the Tuesday, you'd get an email from, uh, uh, from Uncle Paul. Um, just asking for forgiveness for his son's behavior and he'd always finish off by saying please excuse him that is his mother's son and not my son um, he touched my life uh, in many respects and um, like I said in the piece that I posted on Facebook um, you know I grew up without any heroes without any people um, that I really looked up to or that I wanted to be like and I found my hero in the most unlikeliest of places. Uh, Paul was a, an unbelievable friend to me. He's a great teacher. Um, he inspired me by the things he did and by the way he listened. And I'm very sad that I never got an opportunity to say goodbye to the person that had the biggest influence on my career. 
but I just wanted to let all of you guys know in the Dobson family that um, that I loved Paul and that he was my favorite older person of all time. Um, I hope you guys are okay and I send you strength to deal with uh, the mourning and the grieving during this difficult time. He touched my life as someone who cared deeply for others and who never had something bad to say about anyone. The story that I remember about him, Paul, um, the fondest is before his first provincial game, he gave his ticket away to his wife um, and he actually had to pay to get into the stadium to referee the game. And I'm not sure a lot of people will still do that today. He touched my life through his unrivaled joy, passion and dedication to the world of rugby refereeing. Paul Dobson influenced my life in so many ways. He was my Afrikaans teacher uh, in high school for a few years. And also it's apt that he was a rugby referee, the arbiter of right and wrong. One of my most profound memories of him was in a house cricket match at school where uh, the batsman at the other end of the pitch was batting and he, he got a faint edge to the wicket keeper. Paul was umpiring, I was at the non-striking end and the batsman didn't walk and uh, Paul walked up to the other end of the pitch, grabbed my batting partner by the hair next to his ear and said, get off this field, you despicable human being. You know you hit that, now go. I learned a lot about Paul Dobson that day, but uh, I will forever remember him as being so supportive of my broadcasting career. Uh, there almost wasn't a week that went by following a test match where I wouldn't get a Monday phone call from Paul uh, to say well done and how proud he was of me. I will miss those calls, I will miss his influence on my career as a broadcaster. Thank him for everything he has contributed and uh, send thoughts and condolences to his family. He touched my life as someone who only had good to say about people. And he touched me as a person who not only said things, he lived what he said. R.I.P. Paul, one of the great men of rugby. He touched my life in many ways. He was a mentor, he was someone I could always rely on, and an inspiration in my refereeing career. May his soul rest in peace. He's touched my life as he has the ability to entertain, to educate, and to engage in equal measures. And that was just one of the many reasons why our sport um, is a lot poorer for his loss, and why he was so popular a man so many people. Rest in peace, Paul. He touched my life as one of the most ethically and morally pure persons that I've ever met in my entire life. He was always there for a phone call, and whenever you did call him, you knew that you would leave that phone call in a wonderfully positive frame of mind. I want to thank you on behalf of the, of the whole of the rugby community. A big thank you on behalf of the rugby community as well. He has left a hole that nobody will ever be able to fill. He has left us all as a living legend.